All right, so this video between Instagram and YouTube, I have had this question asked many times. Adv can I give advice on how to care for a reborn? And in the back of my mind, I think, well, it can't be that hard. But then I have to remember that I've had reborns for a long time. And, you know, there was a time when I got my first reborn. I remember asking my artist, well, you know, how do I brush his hair and blah, blah, blah. So we're going to start out with Jason here and go over things that um, I think are important when having a reborn, some tips that Jackie has, because she has a little care card. And then, um, this is stuff I think as a collector and as, as an artist myself. So, with the babies, um, they're weighted to feel like you're holding a real baby because they do look real. Um, and if people see you just yank the doll up, they might freak out. So I always recommend that you always support its head, just like a real baby, when picking it up. You basically, you take care, you hold your reborns like they're real babies. You know, you... You don't pull, you don't pick them up by their arm or by their leg. You handle them gently. Just like you would a little baby. For one, they look real, so it's really hard to just kind of whip one around and throw it around. Um, two, they are on cloth bodies, so you could... Let me see. Okay, so they're on cloth bodies. His arm is attached to a cloth body here. I have a cloth body in hand, and I'm going to show you something. So here's a cloth body. Okay. Obviously, this is more for people who don't have reborns. And I, you know, I know that most of us on my channel are very experienced with these. Um, they're just sewn together. There's little plastic pieces. If you yank on these, if you pick them up by this, with time, this is going to break. This joint right here, it will break. You can tear the cloth just like clothes. It can get torn. It's not, it's not unbreakable. So those are little things in there. You have to remember that, you know, yanking their arms around, you're applying force to these plastic discs. They're going to eventually break if you're not careful with them. Um... So that is one reason why you really want to treat them like a real baby, you know. Hold them, pick them up like they're real. Look at him. Aww. Why would you even want to pick your doll up any other way, actually? Okay. As for bathing reborns, applying lotion to reborns, um... First off, you never put your doll in water. They have cloth bodies. They're filled with polyfill. Um, if that doesn't dry out properly, it's going to mold, whatever. You just, you never want to put the cloth body in water. As for bathing, um, I recommend using a damp cloth, you know, with water. If you're not going to do that, then use baby wipes, you know, the because they're very delicate, but I don't recommend putting any kind of chemical or anything soap on the vinyl and the painting. I recommend just water and gently wiping down with a cloth, you know, because they can get dusty. So if you could wipe them with a wet washcloth, gentle, not scrubbing, that's what I recommend. Um, if you have to and you want to, I also recommend a baby, a baby wipe. I never recommend or advise using lotion on a reborn. Um, they're, they're dolls. They're not real babies. So don't put lotion on them. Or baby oil or anything like that. Um, 
don't, you know, as for like their hands, their skin, I don't recommend them wearing jeans unless you're going to put leggings underneath the jeans. And even when you put the jeans on them, always have socks on them because the jeans can stain the vinyl. Even like you have to be careful with like black and navy blue. So you should always wash those first. And then you take that fabric and rub it on a white piece of paper to see if it still bleeds. But any color that could possibly bleed that you wouldn't, you know, throw in with your whites because, oh, it's going to bleed. Um, be very cautious with putting them on your reborns. Like I said, you can, I, my babies wear jeans. I just put on a thin, like a tight pair of leggings and socks and they wear jeans, but I don't let their hands rub on the jeans because if the hand, the knuckles are rubbing on the jeans, it'll stain the, the knuckles. So, um, and, and yeah, you know, you have to be very careful with them. Don't leave them. You know, if you're taking your babies out, don't leave them in the car, especially like this, because somebody's going to freak out and try to break it in and rescue it. So if you leave it in the car, make sure it's not super hot outside, but just cover it up. Make it look like, do whatever you can to make it look like there's not a baby in there. Sometimes, like, I take my baby out and I take it in the car seat, and I'm like, I'm just going to quickly run in that store. I don't want to take the doll with me, so what I'll do is I'll take the baby, I'll set it on the car seat, like the seat of the car itself, and then I'll flip the car seat on top of it. So then it doesn't look like there's a baby in the car left alone. But, um, yeah, let me see. Um, now with like the baby's hair, like how Holly has hair, this one just has painted hair. I, um, sp I spray it with a, a spray bottle, like on the misting side and then I gently brush it with a toothbrush um, you just need to be really really gentle with the hair there's some mohair that needs like you can get a mohair spray it smells like baby stuff baby powder it's really nice I like to use that one too you get it on eBay I haven't bought it in a while but there's some mohair that I feel like is kind of more dry than others so um you can use like a coconut oil in there just like very very little you know like they even make like a coconut hair gel not hair gel but a coconut moisturizer moisturizer for the hair and you just put just like a little tiny bit and you can moisturize the hair um when I had a doll like that that needed that I think I did it like maybe once a month I didn't do it a lot because once again it's it's not real baby real hair you can't just stick it in the shower and wash it off I don't ever recommend putting hair gels mousse um, hairspray, any of that stuff in the doll's hair. Never recommend it. Now, what, and these guys, these are my opinions. So, if you guys have your own way of doing things and you want to hairspray your reborn's hair, more power to you. Um, when it comes to the baby with the mohair, I say the less you brush it, the better. So, I do a lot of hand styling with the hair. Like, I'll just do this with Holly's hair. You know, I could get Holly and show you, but. I'll comb her hair mostly with my hands because it's very fragile hair. Eventually with time, it's going to wear, it's going to break. And you want to keep your baby's hair for as long as you can. Um, bottles, when feeding these babies, you know, you want to make sure you always use a bottle that has the nipple sealed with silicone. So like, here we go, let me show you. You know, this is, this bottle has silicone right here, so it'll never leak on the baby. Because you don't want it to leak on them. And I use a fabric softener for this. I do have a, a video on that. Um, I feel so silly making this video because I know most of you guys know all these things. But I have been asked by new people in the community. So I figure I should totally just make this video. So whatever, you know, if you use the bottle, make sure it's not going to leak. Um, some babies are going to have magnets inside of their mouth. He doesn't because he can take a pacifier. But those who don't have an open mouth, behind the mouth, inside the head, they have a magnet. It's a very strong magnet. Um, it can damage your credit cards, your cell phones, any electronics. People with pacemakers, you know, don't let them hold the babies because it can interfere with all of these and functioning for proper function. So keep that in mind. If you have a pacifier with a magnet, don't set it on top of your cell phone because uh, you're going to regret that later. 
Um, so that's just like a general general guide for caring for your reborns. Oh, a good one. Give them a sleeping area. Don't just throw them on the floor. You know, maybe get a, like a laundry basket and put blankets in there so it looks like a bed. You know, you can really design something up with that. Um, have them sleep on your bookshelf or in your bed. But keep them away from your animals. Dogs, rabbits, um, cats. They tend to like to chew on the vinyl. I saw a video years ago. The girl, her cat got in the crib with her baby and it scratched its face. So you gotta be careful with that. Like, I keep my cats out of their sleeping areas, although they like to jump in there and lay with them like they're real babies. But when I had the silicone, like, she was always covered up. If I was really concerned about that because that's a lot of money. So just make sure you give them, like, an area where they can rest and you don't have to worry about coming home and finding your baby ripped apart by your dog. So that's, that is a really good thing. Um, and if you do travel with your baby in the car, it's best to put it in a car seat if somebody's going to be able to see it because you don't want to get pulled over for having your baby out of the car seat. I'm not really sure how well that'll go down with an officer. Although it is a doll, you know, it is their job to pull people over. So I think it would be kind of funny actually if I got pulled over, but... I haven't yet, but I typically have the baby in the car seat, or if it's traveling with me, I have it covered up, so they don't see it. Um, I think those are kind of like the tips I can give to a first-time reborn parent. Um, I know this video is kind of silly for everybody who already has reborns, but I've just been asked, I don't know, it's recently I've been asked a lot to give advice for how to care for your reborn. So, there you go. There you have it. Just a little bit of what I recommend. Um, other people can have other recommendations. There's really no right or wrong. But as an artist and a collector, these are the things that have worked for me. And, yeah. So, thank you for watching.